Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. We're back again. Morning coffee. Sun's up now. Got the, the forge lit up over here. Getting ready to pound out a... We got two railroad spikes and a... Uh, yeah, two main, right? mm -hmm. And yeah, liver eater. I'll probably do another uh, thing on that. I was going to show this. We found this when we were up on that trip to... Hell's Canyon, man, it's an oldie. But, uh, it's a heavy steel one. Of course you. So I'm gonna actually remind you. Why? You don't want to keep it. No, I think that's good. Okay, I was just making sure you didn't want to keep it. Is it, um, the shape of it? Is it like a special, like a mule or bike? Oh, it could be a mule one up there in the. Yeah. We found that, I kicked that, and I was like, sweet! So this one, I'll probably start pounding out. Today, so maybe on the Idaho Hillbilly, or the Idaho Hillbilly D Day, we're gonna go over uh, change, plan, chan, the, the, the change of plans on the homestead again. <laughs> for gardening, for food yep. production. Because the first year we came up here, we just did a couple of these little beds. And we attempted down in the. the oh, that's farm. right, and I attempted down the thing, and that didn't. You know, this whole thing is a. Uh, Experiment. Experiment. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, so so then we moved it up here, and the next year we just did these beds. It actually produced the most yeah. that we have uh, yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. And then last year we went out there, and a lot of that was because we were gone doing the flea markets and didn't get to right. take care of it. And we are going to do some planting out there in that garden area, but the problem right now, I mean, it's still a pond out there. Yeah. And There's moisture, rot, and. Right. So now, um, this area, I can't point the camera, but you know the area in front of the uh, the cabin, which I was going to turn, I wanted to turn in, we've been working towards turning it into like a little forest outside the cabin, so now we're going to turn it into a little food forest, you know. So I'm going to get the uh, gypsy wagon pulled out of there. I'm going to end up, not sure where I'm going to end up building my, the blacksmith shop, because that's not going to be there now. So... Just out a little bit farther. Yeah, well, either I'm going to do it out there or back here. Yeah. So we're going to use um, basically raised beds and build our soil with the permaculture here in front of the cabin. That way we can control the water and it gets plenty of sun. And we control the, uh, chicken, the critters. Act the critters yeah. in it, you know, keep the. Yeah. I'm going to end up fencing, you know, around the whole thing, but be able to keep an eye on the, for the goats and stuff, then I was actually going to bring it out here. Uh, and I, I'll grab it. You can drop for a second. I was going to show this tree. That's at the smoking deal. Yeah, yeah, we went down below in um, Bymart. We talked about Bymart. It's a great, great store. Um, employee owned. But they have some really good fruiting trees every see, year. See the, uh, see the size of it's in the bag. Mm -hmm. But these, uh, what was it, $12? Yeah, twelve dollars. You don't know, see it budding, but this one's a uh, cherry tree, a Lambert cherry tree. Last year we'd got a prune tree and put it out in the garden area. Yeah, but I think it got too much water plus the goats and the deer. Go got the goats food. found it and the deer. Man, I had it. big old wire wrap around it. Oh yeah, he had it, it protected really. We thought a double layer of protection and yep, we we'll see. It, it, it still might come back. So and then for the. The raised bed gardens, you know, I love using all the natural stuff and like that thing that I picked up uh, or that hollowed out log, it'll obviously be part of it and there'll be more of it, but I am going to go ahead and probably film it too, build some, you know, just some out of 2x6s and 2x8s and just to get them going and what we're going to do is for the dirt, we're actually got a bunch of um, mixed hay and goat manure, so we're going to lay Pellets. Yeah, yeah, pellets. pellets. So we're gonna put that down, you know, on the bottom, and then go out and start digging our ditch. That's gonna run across, you know, for the flooding. So that's where we're gonna get our dirt and start digging that. So that way, and then we'll just take that dirt, you know, and haul okay. some of it. Over, yeah, some of it over here. But I do want to do an banking too. Yeah. So it's gonna be some, some elbow grease. Kitty will probably have something else to do that day. <laughs> <laughs> Days. <laughs> but we're going to try to, I'm going to try to get this. I don't know if I'll get this planted today. I might show that on the thing, too. Yeah. I have to decide in here exactly where we want it. And then, so that's the change of the plans for the garden. Yeah, but eventually, man, I want yeah. it. It's going to be a permaculture, you know, food mm -hmm. for it. I mean, 
And so I read and watch videos and everything on it and have for years, but I've yet to get it get it done like I want to get it done. But since it's It'll experiment, I've got to keep on. Yeah. We'll get it. Last year really kind of messed us up doing the, the flea market. Mm -hmm. You know, running that. And, mm -hmm. I don't know, we got on some kick. Thought we were going to be doing that again for a while, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a few, but we yeah. ain't. Stuck our toes in the wire yeah, and we didn't it. like it. No we more. figured we're going to take a couple of milk crates and you know, our display case and we'll do a couple. On you know, the maybe, road. Maybe, maybe through the whole season, yeah. a half dozen yeah. at the most. But yeah, on our way somewhere, yeah. not that being our destination. And I want to get, and the knives, you know, as we go along, I want to get ahead of the game more so. But I mean, I'm not complaining, yeah, because yeah. I mean, they pretty much sell, you know, can't as fast as we can make them. So I have, man, I can't even keep enough on, you know, Etsy and the eBay. Mm -hmm. But eventually, I'd like to have my knife roll for mm -hmm. and lay them out. We kind of want to go up to a couple of knife shows and, you know, play around too. So what else are we going to go over on the. Uh, well, I think that that was it for the morning coffee chat. We got a few. Fun got a few goodies, to yeah. To so I showed that horseshoe. Can't see the stuff, so I'm gonna hold this Get up. Figure we'd do a yeah, hair hanging off my beard. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that? Ow. That's gonna be <laughs> So, anyways, we're gonna go over. I'm gonna show. Uh, uh, horse knives. Yeah. The, these are. We just put these on. That one there. You got a little. Uh, raven beak. No, I actually think both these are raven beaks. Oh, ones. This one's a dandy. Raven beak dandy. Yeah. The. I went to do a crow, but I ended up not stretching it. Uh, oh. Then you just got a raven beak. And then this one is a, uh, I this one down. I guess I, maybe it's just, well, I almost went with the wolverine, mm -hmm. but yeah. Another eagle clock wood carving knife. I have two of these on, one under, because Miss Kitty loves it for paring knife. Mm -hmm. So there's two, there's one under kitchen stuff, and then there's one under wood carving. This one's a little bit longer, and it's got the flex band, but it's great for when you're carving and trying to get that detail, detail work and to reach in there. So got that. Then we got this awesome little, uh, still wrapped in the plastic from 1990. It's a little puzzle, a little Idaho puzzle. I thought that was pretty cool. Pick that up in our, our travels. This, uh, just like this. You know, man, I don't share this very often, but <laughs> you too can have some fresh, canned, genuine Idaho clean air. Did you read that back? Do you want me to read yeah, that? Yeah, read Why, that. Why, you didn't get your glasses? Yeah, exactly. Okay, recipe, Northwest Paradise Punch. Take one can Idaho genuine clean air, use immediately after opening. Add beautiful mountain scenery. We can supply that on our videos if you don't have any in your area. And a splash of clear, sparkling water. Mixed with forest and farmland, gently stir in desert wildflowers and serve among the friendliest people in the country. <laughs> Guaranteed fresh from Idaho. Made in Idaho. So you can have that, see, man? And then even on the top, man, Idaho air box <laughs> there, man. That's pretty cool. I'd never seen it before. I love it. Smelt it, but never yeah. seen it. And then we have this old, uh, man, this is an awesome. Do you want me to read the, bo the bottom? It's a silver bottom. This is. Oh. Manufactured, and I can't tell if it says by or for, J.S. Stanley, McKinney, Texas. Oh, wow. Man, look at the shape of this thing. It's just a cool little cedar box. Mm -hmm. Man, nice little uh, brass hinges. Mm -hmm. Just a cool little cedar box. Done some research. I don't know um, what the company supplied uh, or... Company, really? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but it's a cool one. Yeah. It's a nice one. J.S. Stanley. And this thing I just love. I'm, we actually have another one just like it that we carry in the our rigs. Max, we're big time dice people, so this is a dice cup. You know, and it's got some stain and stuff. This is it's an oldie. Man, this one's made in a real hide, made in England. And then check this out. It's got the snap. Pop the bottom. There's your dice. So sweet. And it does have some use and wear, but steel, man. Mm -hmm. really and there's nice. a little bit of wear right there on the tab. I show it close up in the pictures, but it's solid. It's not split. Yeah, man, it's it is. Wear. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So got that. And then uh, an old 
so pretty. She's hanging on my building. There's a little Royal Crown. Royal Crown Coda. Cola. Best, best by taste test. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, a few, few oddball things to we'll throw out. I gotta still gotta put the the box in the the dice cup. We were just in there playing Yahtzee. Now we love playing Yahtzee and 10,000. Miss Kitty, we wouldn't get nothing done. Is that true? We just sit there and play dice all day. I do like playing games. <laughs> all, yes, or, you, or you do like playing games. Or sequins. Or yeah, hand and card, card games. Yeah, we love card games. We really like the dice. We always like the dice. Cause you can it's just, just portable. Yeah, you can do portable. it in the wind. You can play in the wind. And, yeah. yeah. We sit out at the swap meets and sit there and play them all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's a little uh, little morning coffee chat and a little uh, showing some goodies. We're going to, tomorrow, the next day, supposed to meet up with a friend of ours. He's supposed to have a box of goodies. Oh, and then we're actually, Kevin D, you know, because he's a junker, too, he cleaned out um, a junk drawer over from. here. Yeah, he cleaned out a junk drawer of stuff, and then we had a box of just miscellaneous a lot of little tiny stuff that we were actually going to take out of the swap meet and that's what you know his we just keep we just keep treasures but they're all little stuff so we actually are putting a junk drawer together it's not on yet it will be later and man i mean this thing is just going to be what's a junk drawer where you put all your junk i mean your treasures <laughs> <laughs> it's a treasure drawer. and if you're an ebayer when you're ready you take that junk drawer and you turn it into a junk drawer lock yep or if you're getting along or there's something, man, we've done this quite a few times at auctions. I mean, it's just like buying a Roundup, mm -hmm. you know, that's mm -hmm. we put them in there a yeah. lot. And what's yeah. other? Uh, mm -hmm. Roundup, lot, um, junk drawer. There's a word there. Yeah, there's one more term that yeah, uh, we've used. Uh, anyway, pass the full crap. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you buy that whole thing, you know, and there's something you want. We mm -hmm. do this all the time. Mm -hmm. And you buy the whole thing take what you want, man, and then, you know, there's some mm -hmm. stuff in this junk drawer or treasure yeah. drawer, whatever you want to call them, that you could, you know, pull out and you can start doing eBay yourself, you know, or if you're already doing it, there's definitely stuff, yeah. you know, so depending on what the whole thing goes for and all that, man, there's always money to be made there, too, so. Mm -hmm. Just a little eBay inside. You're still supposed to do some stuff on the shipping and stuff, too. Yeah, a video on the shipping. Yeah, yeah. well, I need to do some spring cleaning inside before I can do oh, uh, shipping. Because <laughs> you can't uh, move around. No, uh, I can't. I'm, I'm claustrophobic. And then hopefully uh, do some fishing yeah. in part of this week. Yeah. Kevin D's supposed to come up. He's on spring vacation. He was a shed hunting yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, did hear yeah, it, I guess he didn't find Yeah, if he'd have found one. He's never, he hasn't yeah. found one ever right. yet, so I'm sure we would have heard if he had. But he had a great quarter at school, so congratulations, yep. Kevin. Yes, congratulations, Kev Kevin D., mm -hmm. young man. <laughs> and anyway, so there's a little, little morning coffee chat, and you all have a very uh, beautiful, warm, pleasant <laughs> day. We'll see you soon.